Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Khushamdi. Ji ayanu khuy morikh. Ishpata. Pakhair agale. Ni hao. Tunashumme. Washmale. Ohayo gunzaimiz. Guten morgen. Ola. Bonjour. Privet. Kaipahal. Hale shuma chatore. Ahlan vasalan. Marhaba. Buna. Mucho. Gracia. Swabia. Balli kere aya. Marhaba. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning into BTV World. You watching World this morning. Along to the very fantastic, the very amazing, the very dapper, Shazad Azad Khan <laughs> and Shazad Hashmi. Hello, Shazad. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. What about you? Well, I think I'm doing perfectly fine as well. You know, we were lucky enough to get our uh, cup of coffee today as well. At, at that <laughs> you time. have to be lucky at P2E to get your yes, coffee. Yes, <laughs> and, and that too at time. And I think that, you know, hats off to Iftikhar for making such wonderful coffee. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's really important to appreciate the people who are around you, Absolutely. who work for you you know, who are there to support you in your hard times as well. I think this is the message for today. I think that is very important as well. And I think I'm actually going to take it um, to further. a different direction. Further as okay. well, yes, and to another direction. And specifically to um, Iftikhar Saab over here, Iftikhar Bhai that we call. And people who actually have that sort of job, you know, who yeah. are spot boys at TV studios or not, who are tea boys for that matter, or who are secretaries for that matter. Because yeah. the type of job they do, Shazad, we are, it is often neglected, often not appreciated, exactly. but actually happens to be so important. So imagine, I mean, there are days when if the car buy is off work as well, yeah. it's a chaos at PTV, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Everyone is actually worrying, where's my tea, where's my coffee, where's X, Y, Z, because he puts everything in place as exactly. well. So I think we should really appreciate each and every single person and the type of job that they do, because if it weren't for them, then, I mean, things wouldn't be, wouldn't be in place in the system. Exactly, that's true as well. And, you know, I'm going to further that note on, <laughs> okay. a, on, a, on a very different note as well, All and right. that is that, you know, just yesterday I was actually watching one of the interviews of Mr. Suhail Ahmed, you know, who happens to be one of the best comedians over here in Pakistan, ladies and gentlemen, okay. who's been representing Pakistan all over the globe. And he was talking about Sir Amanullah Saab, you know, who recently passed away as well. Uh, may his soul rest in Venus. And he was saying that, you know, it is very uh, important for all of us to celebrate and enjoy people in their lives as well, you know, because, you know, once they're gone, you know, we, that's the time when we feel that, okay, True. there's a void, there's a lag, and that we should have done more and more as well. So today, ladies and gentlemen, on 19th of January, back in 2013, uh, Manaz Begum actually left us on her final abode as well. And I think it's about time that we actually pay her rich tribute as well. It's her death anniversary today. And we wanted to make sure that we are going to remember it as well. So Manaz Begum was born at Mahmoodabad, Uttar Pradesh, India, Shazai, oh. in 1958. Wow. And her fam family migrated to Pakistan in the late 1950s. Hmm. She received her initial training in music from her mother, Kajan Begum, okay. who was also a singer. And imagine that she actually won... 13 Nigar Awards, one Lux Style Award, wow. and Lifetime Achievement Award in 2011. And she That's was one amazing. of the most loved, uh, um, you know, playback singer of her times as well, ladies and gentlemen. So we're remembering her and we're remembering her services uh, towards the arts industry as well. Absolutely. And the mm -hmm. one particular song that runs in my mind just looking at her is Mujhe Dil Se Na Bhulana. And if I'm not wrong, it's from the movie Aina, which was later recreated as well by a Faisal Quraishi and Sabha Kamar as well, which I watched and I think it was really nice. Mm -hmm. And her voice, I mean, is just so melodious. We are today, in fact, remembering her and paying a rich tribute to her exactly. on behalf of the entire Pakistani nation. <laughs> but not just that. It's actually 20 years to... To Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> well, the devil, or I want to say the evil of all misinformation. But here's the thing, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's a blessing in disguise. Now, you have to look for the guys over here. Yep. I'll tell you why. Because while the World Wide Web, the internet, is a great creation, it's a blessing. But you have to be mindful of how you use it, Shazad. Exactly. I mean, Wikipedia is something that anyone can update. Each and every single person who is on the internet has access to correcting yeah. or adding information exactly. on the Wikipedia pages which means it is more usual than often misinformation so in case you're looking for scholarly articles or something that you yeah. have to um, you know stand by in terms of facts wikipedia is not your answer but it has been a great help otherwise because generally when you need to look up information for something the first thing that you go to is wikipedia because it's quick help and within two seconds well you're above of all the knowledge exactly and i'm <laughs> going to second you on that as well because we have to do ladies and gentlemen a lot of research in terms uh, so that we bring you you know correct figures of course and you know that whatever analysis we're picking up on, you know, it's correct and you know that, you know, it's going to enhance your knowledge as well. So Wikipedia, yes, it is very tricky at times. You really have to counter check only if you are habitual of going to Wikipedia, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> but counter check as well that, you know, from other sources and it's important. But 20 years down the lane, I think that we should always be thankful for all of those, uh, you know, services which they have been providing so far. You know, True. anyone, 
anywhere, any place in the world. You know, you just log on to Wikipedia and that's it. Uh, because it's it's just like encyclopedia back in the days as well, where we had to get six editions of it to so do study and, and, <laughs> and, and all of that. So congratulations to Wikipedia for making it uh, to two decades. And now moving on to what we'll be talking about today. All right. So this is very interesting. Uh, we have definitely talked about this particular thing at our show before. But uh, today it's going to be that very thing, but yeah. in sort of a different capacity. So here's the thing, Shazad. <coughs> I love cycling. And yeah. I can actually photographically remember that exact moment when my chacha, my Batman, over, you know, my chacha, you know what yeah, chacha yeah, yeah. is, right? So my chacha the left my, girl. yes. <laughs> so my chacha left my cycle, which I didn't know. And I was actually riding on my own with two wheels, right? Yeah, yeah. And I looked back and I was like, okay, this is my moment of achievement. Point being, I really enjoyed doing that. I still do that. I mean, yeah. even if I've showed you pictures, right? There are times when on weekends, me and my husband go up to the hills in Natya Gali and we love to cycle over there. Yeah. It does make you feel good. And especially for people like me who have lived in Nast for almost six years, mm -hmm. cycling is your answer in Nast. Makes you feel good, yes. Makes yeah. you feel healthy, yes. But we do sort of, unfortunately, I hate saying this every other morning. I hate saying this, but unfortunately, there are some places in Pakistan still where if a girl would go out on a bike, on a bicycle, uh, she will be frowned upon. It has been happened to me, again, in Natya Gali, which I just right. mentioned as well. Yeah. I mean, imagine cars stopping by and calling you names. So I just want to be comfortable and I just want to feel safe in my own space while I'm just enjoying my own ride. Exactly. And this is what we will talk about. Well, bicycles, of course, and then amazing girls who are bringing it back to Islamabad, first exactly. of all, and, and then Pakistan. And, and yeah, you know what, at the same time, a very funny incident to share yeah. uh, with all of our audiences as well. So, you know, just hear me out, be patient. And that is that, you know, since we <laughs> are alhamdulillah seven brothers and sisters Mashallah. so uh, you know while we were growing up we never had a bicycle at my place as oh. well and you know every now and then you know we would go to our father and he'll be like putar le lenge, beta lenge, and you know all of that so my i still remember my eldest sister was getting married and i had to get some stuff for guests so i actually went to my neighbor's place and i yeah. was like hey can i borrow your bicycle okay and his name was usman i still remember him and he said, yeah, yeah, sure, why not just go to the market? And I think I was eight or nine years old because I was the first boy in my family. Yeah. So I was always understood as the elderly, you know, because for whatever <laughs> chose, yeah, whatever chose we were supposed to do, it was supposed to be done by the eldest son as well. So I took the bicycle. What I, while I, he was giving me the bicycle, he told me that there are no brakes for the bicycle. So what you have to do is okay, put, your foot. <laughs> put your foot right next to the next to the wheels in, in case uh -huh. you have to brake. And since we were kids as well, and the adrenaline rush, and you know, it was someone else's cycle, but you got to ride it. So I was just fast, and I was just going, and I was going, and I was going, and I reached towards the end of the street where it was a T junction, and all of a sudden, you know, I think that you know there was a car which banged into me oh, because no. I couldn't break. And the next thing, uh, I opened up my eyes while, while I was in the hospital. So yeah, do not not cool. Do not do that. You know, always make sure that you look around. You know, to just just take it one step at a time. Of course, it can be dangerous. Use the equipment which you are supposed to use as well. And very quickly, ladies and gentlemen, since we are going to talk about girls, the breaking stereotypes. You know, so it is the girl cycling squad. Let's see who the person is behind that. Go ahead, take a look at this teaser. Very quick. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're very lucky that we've actually been joined by the founder of GCS and she is Miss Samreen Khan. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum, how are you? Wa Alaikum Assalam, Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. How are you? Shabha? Absolutely perfect and thank you very much for joining us. It's wonderful to have you and alongside Miss Samreen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, she's been joined by a student of her own as well. She is Miss Anila Naim and she's a cyclist as well. Hello Anila, Assalamu Alaikum, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Absolutely perfect, thank you very much for joining us. It's wonderful to have you both. Thank you so Thank much. you. We are really happy to Jazakallah. be here. Jazakallah. We are happy to have you. So, Samreen, to start the conversation with you, since you are the founder of this club, I want to say as well, 
What were the thoughts in your head when you felt like I need to create a safe space for men, women to come out cycle? Well, um, because you've been cycling, cycling for so many years. Yes. yes, I'm into it from last four years. Okay. Yeah. And uh, GCS I integrated in last uh, 2019 December. Oh, okay. So it's almost like one year. Hmm. And in 2020 December we celebrated our anniversary. Wow. So um, <laughs> the purpose and the mission uh, behind GCS is all about the safe environment and safety of women hmm. yeah. and like it's not one mission it's like there are multiple objectives behind it okay. women empowerment and hmm. yes in the last three years when i observed that girls are really not safe and there are many many girls who really want to paddle but they are just not coming out because right. they, they're not comfortable with male members yeah. hmm. the brothers and fathers husbands they are really not comfortable and yes somehow it's common everywhere you feel harassment yes, as well. Yeah. Yes, so uh, when I was into it, yes, I was very strong. Yes, I was very brave. I was comfortable with male members. I was able to fight out the harassment as well. But I observed that the other girls hmm. are not and able to do they so. Want, they, want, uh, they don't want to come over mm -hmm. here. And I seen that in three years, literally, there was a really low number of female, even oh. after watching me. I was thinking like I can they be a motivation or inspiration for them. Mm -hmm. I was, but even then the girls were not coming forward. Okay. And as I integrated, so you can see there are mashallah, more than 50 women in the wow. squad. How do you feel about it? Uh, well, uh, so proud, so right. proud. And it's really great to represent my country everywhere when I go and I speak about Pakistani women. If you will talk to Anila, um, mm you you can't imagine she just joined few months back okay uh, she learned it from scratch oh she learned how to balance so you're her trainer actually and <laughs> she can paddle 40 kilometers now wow oh, and, and that's <laughs> wonderful but before we move on to anila i think that there are a lot of uh, more things to you to you uh, and i think that it is important for us to actually share your achievements because you happen to be the ambassador at global peace institute uk as well mm. does it have to do something with your cycling bit of it or is there something else to it as well there is actually uh, global peace institute is totally talking about peace yeah. hmm. and i think cycling is the best tool to yeah. say what is peace exactly. okay. when you come to your person you know when peace comes in your own personality hmm. then you spread outside and you bring people towards it hmm. if you yourself is not peaceful so and cycling is the one tool where, where you can you know relieve your stress Exactly. Yes, you can so be a happy person. Wow. But you know, for people like us who are not really regular cyc um, cyclers, it's at least <laughs> cyclists. Cyclists. <laughs> our legs give up in five minutes. Man, and especially mm. if it's uphill, it is a struggle. So I'm going to move on to Anila over here. And you yeah. told me when you started for the first time, you didn't even know how to cycle, right? Yes. How uh, was it for you? Uh, it was really hard in the beginning when I learned, but in uh, six days I learned from her. Oh, wow. Yes, and I. Uh, she gave me her cycle to uh, ride and I, my first ride was when I did it uh, from my ha home E11 to Constitution Avenue. Wow. Amazing. I want to do that someday. Was it fun? <laughs> yes, it was really fun and after doing that I was feeling very relaxed. Yeah. Really? And uh, for uh, for me cycling is a soul satisfying thing. Wow. wow. Yes, w uh, because I'm carried on uh, with my profession and whenever I'm going to the school or anywhere so I can take my bike and I can go and right. I want to be independent because otherwise I have to ask my brother Mm. Like I have to go there and now I'm doing it and yes we are feeling you know there is no acceptance in society because the girls are coming out with the cycle and everybody is you know st they stop by and they, they you stare know, for what they stare yes understand. Uh, so I think we should start the campaigns to understand mm. and we need acceptance because exactly. if the boys we want the same rights yeah. If yeah. boys uh, can cycle, then why not girls? Yeah. And it's nothing much we're asking. It's just cycling. But Janina, yes. um, yeah, of course, we understand the society uh, puts on that sort of pressure on you if you want to do it or not. But what about your own family where you said that your uh, brother or your dad might have been a little worried? Are they really yes, supportive they were that? Because uh, my father doesn't allow me to, you know, ride with the boys and with, uh, you know, male yeah. members. When I told my family that I found a girl who mm -hmm. is some rain and she's living nearby and I want to learn so my mother said okay go That's and nice. they didn't stop me even a single time wow. and I think it's been six months we are riding regularly wow in the morning yeah. and the best thing is uh, when I was uh, at ZK fitness I was uh, in gym so I have to talk to my trainer in the morning that uh, when are you be available 
but in the cycling you just come out of the house and do Any your time, cycling right? yes and yeah. then after that you go to school and spend your time and you know so yeah, it's and, best and since you mentioned about zk fitness as well so ladies and gentlemen i think i would love to give a shout out to zaheer kiani as well because the kind of ems things he's brought into pakistan is something very different the top notch athletes all over the Pretty. world are using these techniques as well it i mean to just give it away as a layman it will be like you know you're getting physiotherapy in pretty much all of the body parts of your body wow. and but it is equivalent to actually doing one and a half hours workout so zaheer you're doing a wonderful job and i think i'll make sure that i share the link with you too as well so that mm. you know that we've given you a shout out as well <laughs> right we'll do that but samreen uh, since mashallah you're so fit and you've been doing it for four years now so let us know about the physical benefits of cycling well there are health countless benefits, these are yes health benefits of cycling are countless yeah and uh, the top one is obviously stress relief because you yeah. know the biggest disease or you can say the mother's own disease is stress, stress. stress. it is yeah. true which is leading to all other you know mm, cardiovascular true exercise it is because it saves your heart first mm. of all your blood circulation when it's good when you are taking enough fresh oxygen in your body so obviously all your organs and your body cells are you know functioning yes. according to that mm. so if you talk about your res respiratory system or you talk about your brain because the blood circulation in your brain and uh, uh, heart health and uh, other than that your bones your muscle strength right. like countless if i just yeah. sit and talk about them <laughs> exactly. so they are they, they are amazing and anti aging yeah oh, wow. and that's Benched. wonderful but there's there's one thing which i'm going to mention over here because uh, but i know I, i've seen yeah. you guys a lot of times early in the morning cycling going somewhere and when I, whenever i see is just girls cycling i know that it's samreen for sure because you're the only <laughs> person riding cycles bicycles over here in islamabad as well but just too early you know at times i just think in fact you know i'm going back from work you know it's it's probably you know the sun's just about to rise mm -hmm. and you people are riding bicycles on the roads and it's just cold and i'm like i mean what are you guys getting out of it <laughs> i mean you can <laughs> sleep well and then wake up and do whatever you want to do but why yeah. this early why do you have to go on this early mm -hmm. is there is there, is there any specific reason yes yes there is actually the fresh air and the environment you can enjoy in the morning all right you can't enjoy that moment in any part of the day yeah and, that's and the ray uh, the the way the pollution is outside and the traffic yeah mm -hmm. and when you know that time is the time when you feel on the road like you are the queen of the road oh, oh. <laughs> when there is nobody so but samreen have you been outside of cities on a bicycle Uh, yes, many times. Let uh, us know about one of your most favorite adventures. <laughs> well, there are many. Okay. <laughs> the uh, the one which is the uh, most adventurous, mm -hmm. I must say, is the one when I went uh, from Gilgit to Khunjrah Pass. Wow. In 2019, mm -hmm. and it was uh, about uh, 200 kilometer, 280 kilometers. Yeah. Uh, we did it in five different stages. Okay. So. Um, Uh, it feels like but but it was too much difficult of course, like it was listening to it it yeah. was yeah. deadly like it was uh, almost when uh, when i was away from punjra pass 2 to 3 kilometers mm -hmm. i can't tell you that how my muscles were like <laughs> stiff yeah. at that time <laughs> oh. and uh, even i i even lay down some for, for many times on the road on the side <laughs> that was a Because terrible it was continuous run, uphill, but right? yes it's a continuous yeah. uphill mm. and um, it was it was tiring yeah. but and it's great uh, but amazing <laughs> yeah it is amazing and i think that everybody needs to appreciate that as well but uh, obviously uh, samreen because you've got a good name to yourself you know you have more than 50 students yes. so you cannot restrain yourself to just islamabad or rawalpindi hmm. you know there might be girls in lahore in karachi yes. or in interior sindh or in interior punjab or in kpk who actually want to join the group now how do you think that you really uh, would branch out or want to branch out to or reach out to all of those people so that they can be sure that one okay the parents are uh, you know sure that okay you know where, wherever our daughters are going they're mm. going, to be, going to be in safe hands at least they'll be uh, you'll be generating some activity for them as well it's about fitness it's about health as well mm. so how are you going to branch out to all of these regions in pakistan well shahzad that's a very good question um thank you i'm known for this yeah. <laughs> i'm sorry go ahead okay um from Lahore and Peshawar specifically girls are asking me to come mm. and these uh, also provide us the facility yeah so i'm looking forward well i'm because i'm engaged because uh, due to my job 
but I am thinking inshallah in some vacation I will be staying for a week or some days and I will be starting separate chapters for Lahore and hmm. uh, Peshawar wow. especially. You can't wow. imagine. Peshawar people are very active now in sports yeah. hmm. and uh, from there girls and even boys ask me that ma'am please do come and start a section here because girls really need it. Yeah. That's so so I am definitely going to look after Peshawar and uh, uh, uh -huh. that area and Sawat I represented I would love to share uh, about Sawat adventure. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was a thrill ride uh, when first of uh, the, the first time ever I went to Sawat yeah. and it was uh, like um, a whole different clubs uh, activity and they said that we will be enjoying a very off-road track. Mm. It was quite dangerous but yeah. we did that. Oh. But next time it was really interesting because they organized a race over there. Yeah. I was going to ask, was there a race? Yes, that was the next time. Okay. And that race was really interesting because the next uh, uh, few, um, like one kilometer, okay. it was an off-road patch, which yeah. was downhill. And then after that, it was a continuous uphill. Okay. I did the distance in 56 minutes. Uh -huh. That was a race. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and uh, unfortunately, I fall down on a downhill. Oh. Very badly. And oh. I was in it even yourself? injured and I was bleeding on my elbow hmm. but even then I didn't give up and I get up <laughs> and they said I, we, we, we provide you some medical and yeah. you can sit I said no I have to go hmm. up and up again. and I did all that uphill and I was injured oh. and uh, I scored second position. Amazing, <laughs> it does, it does it give you an extra adren adrenaline rush especially after you're injured and the race is still going on you have to do it right? Yes, actually it's like your endurance inside yeah. which hmm. keeps you you know motivated and move on and on. Right, right. Be because you could stop over there, hmm. but when you are warm up, you said, okay, can I do it or not? And your insight says, no, you can make it. Right. So I think if, if you are uh, endorsed enough inside, so you can achieve anything. Mm -hmm. And girls can definitely do that. That That's is true. so true. But Anila, now I'm going to ask you uh, this on as a as a woman, okay, not as a part of the girls cycling girl squad, girls cycling squad. So you tell me if I were to ask you how to campaign out even more about uh, safe places for women doing their own thing, what are some of the ways you can campaign? I think we should arrange uh, out of this GCS, uh, we should uh, talk to others and we have to give the awareness to, especially to the parents, especially mm. to the male members, because the mothers need to teach their son or the males, because they're the ones who are, those are coming out and, you True. know, doing everything for us. Very important. So, yes, this is the only thing we want, because uh, in this society, we want acceptance. Exactly. True. So, um, uh, also, Anila, like after you started being a part of this, did your friends come up and be like, hey, Anila, you know what I want to do is do, did you yes, inspire other yes, girls? Yes, in my own gym, the girls are coming and I get, um, got a lot of appreciation. And whenever I was going on the roads in F7, everybody is saying good luck and thumbs up. That's and nice. uh, people uh, do ask me, like, are you feeling any, you know, difficulty on the bike or, you know, actually I'm living in that area, mm. E11, E8, E9, because before that I was in living in E8 because my father was in Navy. Okay. So I, ha I haven't felt like, um, you know, Mm, any difficulty or somebody is saying anything, never ever Which somebody is has done, Alhamdulillah. So if the girls, my friends are Alhamdulillah coming um, out for the cycling and uh, I bought my own cycle, uh, it's been three months. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, so I got a lot of appreciation. And it's good That's and it's nice. healthy activity as well, which is why we want to wish you best of luck for all Thank of your you future so endeavors as well. And please make sure that you reach out to people in Peshawar and in Lahore and, and elsewhere and in in in, um, in rural areas as well because I think they they Definitely. will always have a bicycle over there <laughs> and it, they just need yes. people like you who are going to convince them to come outside the house and ladies and gentlemen you know there was a story which I shared with you uh, you know right at the beginning of the show that you know I didn't have a bicycle I had to borrow one and I was in an accident the next day a uh, very wonderful thing happened my father came back from office he was like let's go we have to go somewhere I said, where are we going? So he took me to a bicycle shop and he bought me a bicycle That's as well. Sweet. Not just me, he even bought that guy a bicycle as well Aww. because we broke his bicycle. But very quickly, ladies and gentlemen, with that, we're actually going to head out towards a short break because once you cycle for too long, once you work out for too long, you need massage. You need, you know, oil massages as well, you know, so that you can relax your muscle, so that the muscle repair is in there as well. So we're going to talk about that a little bit as well. Do you have anything in mind? Yeah, actually, I want to I want to talk about how you can relax your body, your muscles, and especially your mind yeah. with uh, something natural, maybe some herbs or something. Exactly, and you know, mothers <laughs> always say that you know, better tail lagai karo sir me ya, you know, put oil in your head. 
even then you you keep on losing hair so is there any authenticity in putting <laughs> oil and saving your hair that's something which we'll be talking about don't go anywhere good morning stay tuned Welcome back to World This Morning, ladies and gentlemen, where right now I am still hooked on to my coffee because I feel like I still need an extra boost oh, to right. run the entire day as well. Yeah. But, well, we are going to talk about, and with me I have Shazad Khan, <laughs> in case I forgot. But now we're going to talk about something very important, and yeah. I love the fact that we have so many colorful bottles over here on yeah. the table. What is this, Shazad? Exactly. So very quickly, before we actually talk about this, ladies and gentlemen, I once again have a very wonderful story to share, and that Go is ahead. that, you know, so every time I'm in England, I actually live at my sister's place. And, you know, she, uh, so even when I'm back in Pakistan, so for all of those clothes which were washed last by my sister, the will smell. have a very different scent to it. Yes. And, you know, all of a sudden I would feel nostalgic and I'd be like, okay, you know, I probably need to go back to England. So this is one thing that <laughs> a thing. scent, aroma will always play a very important role in your life. And your car even smells like I told you, right? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you did tell me that as well. So ladies and gentlemen, you know, you know, making sure that we actually take the right essence out and use it for our advantage, for our well-being, for our hygiene, I think is important. And scent plays a very important role. We're very lucky that we've actually been joined by somebody who happens to be a certified aromatherapist and Ayurvedic expert. And she's over here with us in the studios. And she's going to let us know what the entire range is all about. She is Miss Salma. Asim, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. Wa alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? Absolutely perfect. <laughs> and thank you very much for joining us. It's wonderful to have you 
what are we talking about today please go ahead let us know um actually these days everyone is suffering with you know uh, covid oh, related yeah. uh, trauma uh, someone uh, uh, today i mean this morning i just got a message that i am recovering from a uh, covid but is there anything that can you know lift me up something yeah. like that exactly. what uh, you will uh, recommend yeah, yeah you feel okay. better so uh, i recommended aromatherapy basically for okay. that hmm. in uh, aromatherapy is a holistic treatment uh, which in which we use natural plant extracts okay, okay. and you send it with your nose yeah. and it you know uh, send the message to your brain actually yeah. okay. from the nervous system to the brain Got and it. it relaxes you it eases you all those people who are recovering or under still you know suffering uh, you know you feel uh, out of touch you are not socially exactly. meeting people you are not greeting people so you you get that vibe exactly that that's true i'm going to add on to this as well i'm not sure whether it's a 100% correct research as well or not but this is something i read over the internet and it said that a lot of women would actually want to be married to a guy who actually wears a similar perfume or a cologne <laughs> as their father you know so, so and all so the men whether, perfumes the same whether whether they get the same scent or not so yeah this is very important but now the most important aspect over here is because i went through covid myself unfortunately okay. and a lot of people did you lose the very sense of smell as well so how do you think that aromatherapy will help the best part is Good even if you actually. can't sense it if you can't smell it yeah. even it's working for you because really? it's sending the message to your brain actually but oh. if you cannot smell it then how is it sending the message Yeah, it is sending because the essential oil you are inhaling it. Okay. okay. Be you, because this brain, is what I did. You know what I yeah. what I was doing while I couldn't smell was I was putting tea bags right next to my nose and I was like, okay, can I smell it or and I couldn't smell it. Oh. So I don't know whether. But aromatherapy is still working for you. Okay. It is still working for you because you are actually inhaling the oils. So what do we have to do within this aromatherapy? Uh, in this aromatherapy, this is the diffuser. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you need to put water. and switch it on it's a humidifier as well because exactly. also even if it's not covid if you are not you know um, suffering with covid still in winters you get a lot of allergies yeah. you know skin allergies yes. or maybe sinus problem or difficulty in breathing yeah. so it really helps you out we have different oils like lavender we are it, this is the blend of a very you know precious essential oils actually yeah. okay. i'm going to smell so is it well. even good for pollen allergies in winter exactly Achha, this is nice, because you can nice. you can you know it uh, opens your uh, actually uh, nose Can we you smell can it? breathe it. Yeah, I mean, how sure, can we sure. Smell it? Just uh, take out the gap and just uh, take it. Uh, A little yeah, bit. Take it out. Yeah, on your hand. The colors are so cute. Oh, this yeah. is beetroot. Oh, it, it's good for glow. You know. And the color must be real, right? Yeah. Oh, exactly. Wow. We are not using any I synthetic colors or fragrance. You can smell it. I still cannot smell it. That's that's <laughs> where the tricky part is. So do I just rub it? Yeah. Can you? I Why don't you little. open the bottle? Oh, now can, I can smell it. You can oh, open yeah. the bottle. Yeah. It's now a I body wash. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a body wash, and oh, it's antibacterial so body nice. wash. Yeah, the scent is so it's nice. It's antibacterial body wash. You know, you are going yeah. to the gym or for a walk, and yeah. you know, you are coming back. So it's good to and have. And the smell is really up. nice. Yeah. I mean, so I have sweet. to tell you this as well. Yeah. This is charcoal really nice. detoxification, wow. actually. Yeah, and this goes with the name of pure Ayurvedic, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. So you know what you can do is, how can people order it online? I mean, for all of those people watching. We have a page it. and we have a website www.pureayurveda.pk. Okay, so ladies and, and gentlemen, if you're looking queries, for all of these amazing, you can amazing... also, you know, inbox your queries to us as well. Oh, so here's so the thing. Nice. This Now, is I'm going nice. to give you a review of one of the products that I yeah. used. All right. So it was an essential oil uh, infused with some sort of sweet dreams. it was sweet dreams yes probably yeah. so infused with some something that smelled like wicks or some i don't know something i don't know the <laughs> ingredients right so i was supposed to drop two drops or something on my pillow before sleeping because it's it was sort of aromatherapy as well it would relax me yeah. and i did and it did relax me that is true but then i also used it for massage and it was so nice wow. i mean it did relax my muscles but also made me feel really light so <laughs> you can check the lemon up. one you can you can feel it because it's the one citric. in the corner all right yes. so ladies the and gentlemen one. while we do check these It's things i really want to mention over here that the first time uh, miss salma came covid-19 had just started exactly. yeah. so i want to ask you did it impact your business did it grow did it stop for a while anything uh, actually the first 3 months were very tricky oh. very very difficult for us because we had difficulties in managing the orders and shipping because shipping uh, you know returned back because the area was sealed because of the covid uh, uh, cases you know they sealed the area yes. basically yes yes so after 3 months uh, actually i was started getting uh, so many queries uh, regarding the 
uh, hand sanitizers and yeah. disinfectants yeah. because the people who are using they were saying that my kids are using and the hands are you know it's very dry and itchy mm. what should yeah. we do there's a lot of glycerin exactly. in it as well really? the people um, having eczema mm. you know it exaggerate because of these uh, products they're so harsh exactly and um, uh, i observed a lot of you know in the a lot of boom in the market as well because there was a lot of hand sanitizers but the problem was they were not uh, following the proper who recommendations okay. yeah. that's where i decided to launch ayurvedic health and hygiene therapy wow. so can you mention uh, since you you said you're following the guidelines as well how much percentage of alcohol is 65 percentage of alcohol isopropyl alcohol not ethanol ethanol is an alcohol but it ethanol can weaken your arms your skin as well yeah right? it can also create eye blindness oh. or weaken in your eyesight and obviously wow. when you use hand sanitizer you know you feel so safe you know in the mind you're safe <laughs> you are touching your face you are you know yeah, putting, we can do whatever exactly want to do, yeah. so that's very dangerous what i did in ayurveda that i you can check the sanitizers it mm -hmm. has vitamin e beads Okay. So, yes, it's, yeah. I thought it's glitter. <laughs> no, it's not glitter. <laughs> it's vitamin E beads and they just dissolve on your skin. If you okay. can check. Okay. Yeah. So, it's very so, safe so what for we're going to do is that we're going to check yeah. whether it's going to dissolve on my skin or not. Yeah, it will. Because they, all of these things are brand new. Yeah, so I'm just going to put a little okay. and rub it, right? Rub That's yeah, important. Exactly. And, and this is fun. Yeah. And because just because prior to this, I actually put uh, body wash on my hand. I wasn't very comfortable. Thank God we got <laughs> sanitizer <laughs> as well. <laughs> But yeah, it's no, good. It's good. And it's and safe. And it smells nice. And it won't, uh, you know, dry your skin. You can check exactly. it. Exactly. There's really, a very little soft. bit of moisturizer to yeah. it as well. Yeah. But very quickly, what I wanted to ask was, how do you think that aromatherapy can help us relax? Uh, it's because... The science of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, uh, when you diffuse the oils, you can, you know, um, inhale the oils actually with the water, yeah. not mm -hmm. directly. Okay. You cannot apply essential oils directly on your skin yeah. or drink it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. sometimes people, you know, they um, uh, order the oils from us and when I see they don't have diffuser or anything else, yeah. you know, I quickly call them. call them and tell them that you are not supposed to drink it or apply on your skin All it's right. very dangerous okay. it's very dangerous and it's it? very you know um, what do you say strong you can't wow. take it it will start itching and okay. thank you, you can very only much for diffuse it as well and, and can i just to mention that Shazad, so um, i have uh, on one of my wooden tables it's pakki wood you know so achi wali and uh, i have essential oils the stronger ones i got them from iron away so one of the bottle caps was loose yeah. so it was sort of leaking and can you believe the wood actually came yeah. off from the area where the essential oil was really? so my table you can is even ruined. burn your skin you know yeah. you can even burn your skin they are very strong you know thousands of flowers in just one in bottle yeah. so it's you, an extract pure extract actually. so you can just inhale it or probably just let it in the room where you are so maybe it will of, of course yeah. get into your body exactly. in one way or another uh, either by of course using this diffuser or I have this small candle stand a porcelain one with a candle burn and the oil burns yeah. and whatnot, yeah. but never directly. I mean, this is tried and yeah. tested. They don't do that. And I, <laughs> and I think that you know, since we're sh sharing how to actually apply things as well, so I'm going to talk about oud as well. What is because that? Because oud is not supposed to be applied directly to your clothes. You actually have to rub it on your skin first and then onto it's your clothes. Otherwise, it's going to leave a spot yeah. as well. Is it the but one you good. get from Oman where the, it's a scent? To yeah, that's a different one. But yes, uh, you know, because the, now LV's uh, come up with its oh. own lu, oud and, you know, Gucci and everybody's coming up with their own ouds. But there's always uh, a, tree, uh, a way to apply oud and that is that you actually apply it onto your hand first, rub it and then rub it on your clothes and the scent won't go away, which is wonderful. But now, ma'am, coming back to, you know, Ayurvedic and, you know, aromatherapy as well, which is going to help us relax. Are there any other health benefits of it, hygiene benefits of it as hmm. well? Uh, not exactly hygiene benefit, but yes, health benefits, you know, it will affect your uh, physical and mental health, actually. Physically means if you are, it's if you are, you know, suffering with insomnia, lack of sleep, okay? Yeah. You can diffuse the oils and you can have a peaceful night. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So it's emotionally and physically, you know, it's it relaxing. It feels great you know. as well. You know, when it you, feels when you, great. Exactly. When you smell and something nice, you know, it nice. feels Nice. Exactly. Great. That's the point. So and can I ask you, sorry, yeah, go ahead. I'm just going to put in a very uh, paranoid question because I am that way. Uh, can I leave it on burning entire night even if I sleep? The diffuser, you can run it for 12 hours, 6 hours, 3 hours. The diffuser which Pure Ayurveda is offering. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. And it has 7 LED lights as well. You can, uh, you know, Change feel the, the light. As well, light therapy wow. as well, light green, light yellow, nice. which were you know, wow. 
and yeah. and it's wonderful and for all of those people who might be wondering what this brown bottle shape thing is this is what this we is call the, a diffuser yeah. this yeah. is where the water goes it's a in. humidifier as well yes. diffuser as well you can always you know if you don't want to put essential oils for example yes. if it's finished just use and it as a humidifier yeah you can even put rose petals in it you can exactly. even put you know herbs in it mm. you can just you just need the aroma exactly. of the natural and not just that yeah. you know since we're using a lot of gas heaters these days as exactly. well so it's very wonderful to have uh, in humidifier. your room or you know probably in a lounge where everybody sits down as well because it won't let things dry up as well yeah. it won't let your skin dry and you know literally you know after applying that sanitizer i feel as if my hands are really soft yeah wow you yeah, can check out the disinfectant as well we have launched this as well wow uh, you can not only uh, you know spray on your furnitures or cars or uh, you know door knobs but you can also apply on food Oh. It's a fruit grade, you know. Wow. The that grocery you bring, the fruits, anything you can just spray it on, leave it for 10 minutes and wash it off. Wow. My husband lives by these products. Can <laughs> I tell you something? Half of our pay actually goes on disinfectants and uh, exactly. sanitizer because he's so uh, covid paranoid. <laughs> but I think it's a good thing he's saving us all. Um Salma, a lot of people I know have this notion that with the diffuser they can actually have a uh, steam face steam. Uh, Is it so? No. No, it's not actually it's steam. It's water. Though. It's cool mist. Yeah, it's yeah. not steam. Yeah. It's okay. not hot. All right. All it's right. cool steam. Yeah. So it doesn't yeah. work as a steamer. No. Got exactly. It. So that's what it's just a humidifier and diffuser. Okay. It works like both. You know? Yeah, Got and it. that's wonderful. And thank you very much, Salma, for you know taking our time, coming over here on our show as well, and sharing your product line as well. And ladies and gentlemen, you know this is one thing I would always say, and this is one thing I would recommend for all of you to do as well, and that is promote our local businessmen as of well, course. and women. and people who are entrepreneurs and that too amidst covid because you know people are coming up with different ideas it's our responsibility to promote them as well so salma once again please give away your you know online addresses so that people can order whoever's watching yes we have a page uh, by the name of pure ayurveda and you can also uh, visit our website it's uh, www.pureayurveda.pk wow that's wonderful that and thank you very much for being with us and thank please so continue to inspire a million other women out there or men for that particular reason you've established a brand to yourself and we can only congratulate thank you thank very you much so much thank, thank you, so you very much for being with us and uh, without any further ado ladies and gentlemen before we wrap up i think that over here it's about time that you know i am going to come back to where i started my show from that it's really important to compliment all of those people huh. who are around you who work <coughs> for you just like we talked about mr iftikhar as well so one of our very dear cameraman mr kadir ahmed's birthday is today we wanted to wish him happy birthday so are we going to sing the song let's do all it all right happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, you. May happy you have many more. more happy Hajj Day, Kadir Bhai. Stay <laughs> blessed, and you know for all of those people who are celebrating their birthdays today, tomorrow, whenever it is, happy Hajj Day <laughs> to all of you. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as usual, we really hope you're taking something away from our show as well, being the state channel and being really proud presenters on the yes, state channel as well. We love promoting local businesses, and uh, can I tell you something? We try these things ourselves as well like i already mentioned we have tries, uh, tried tried like her products too hands. and this is no sort of advertisement or advocacy for that matter it's just a promotion of local business and we love to do that if you have any similar business in mind or any similar person who's doing a great job do let us know about them through our facebook page with the name of well this morning on twitter well this morning without a g and on youtube on youtube ladies and gentlemen you look for ptv world and then the most viewed show on ptv world alhamdulillah is well this morning yeah and the repeat of this one you can actually catch that five past midnight so the next time ladies and gentlemen look after yourselves do aromatherapy keep yourself <laughs> clean make sure that you sanitize all of those products which are around you which you're using every single day with products made by miss salma as well look <laughs> yeah. after yourselves one two three good, good morning. morning stay safe